Okay, get some equipment like this and then boom, put a bulb in it. Yeah, you weren't expecting that. Now, the bulb gives off light and the light looks like this. It's got a wavelength that spreads out. But when the light goes through the gaps, these are acting now as two separate sources of light. And because light is a wave, they will combine on the screen to make an interference pattern. That is when uh, two waves can constructively interfere to make something that's brighter or destructively interfere to make something that's darker. It's amazing. And only waves do it. Therefore, light is acting as a wave, and that's the end of the story. Boom, only kidding, it's not really. So, I can do the same thing with bigger objects. Let's say I take some sand and I pour some sand through the holes. Well, sand isn't a wave, is it? So I just get these two areas of sand there. That's not surprising, is it? I'll tell you what else isn't surprising. Watch, boom, I can close one of those slits and now I can use something smaller. I can use atoms and I've put them through and they just act like particles and give me one fringe as well. And I bet you're wondering now, when's it going to get interesting? Well, watch this. Kazoom! I'm going to open up the second slit and I'm still going to fire the atoms through but look now they're acting like a wave you didn't see that coming did you maybe it's because i'm pulling them all through at once and they're repelling each other so what if i fired them one at a time well boom they still act as a wave unbelievable so are these atoms trying to be cheeky or what i'm going to find out by putting a camera there and you know what happens when i put a camera watching the slits oh they decide not to act as a wave anymore and they decide to act like the sand cheeky buggers so then I get a little bit fed up with them and I turn off my camera and as soon as I turn off my camera, boom, they act like a wave again. Oh, I don't know what's going on.